Before we get started, quick announcement. If you're an independent artist, you want me to react to your song, you want me to react to your song, just hit my email in the description. We can make that happen. What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video brings a little light to your day. Today's independent artist we're checking out, I go by the name of Nephorus. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. If I am pronouncing it wrong, my bad. Nephorus, this is called um, Nothing featuring McGuire and Emily Elkins. I hope I'm pronouncing the other artist's name right if I'm pronouncing it wrong, my bad. But we're going to check out this song. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. This is following. The following is based on a true story. So let's get it. Okay. Come through with the vocals. Lying on the floor and I can feel it anymore. I've been broken, I've been beating, but I still was never leaving. I can change, but I don't know why I stay. No, no. I'm very familiar with uh McGuire and his work um from a him being on features of other artists that I know of. Um, he has a really dope voice, If he, as you can hear, man. It's very unique, man. But salute to him, man. This hook sounds fire so far. Let's continue. Though. Why I stay? No. Oh. Lying on the floor, I can't feel it anymore. I've been broken, I've been beaten. But I still was there believing I could change. It's got me feeling like. So I'm guessing we probably finna get into some relationship issues, maybe. You know, the whole thing with wanting to change or I'm not sure if they're talking about themselves changing or their significant other change, but we're gonna find out more when we listen to the song. Um Emily has a really dope voice. Both of these vocal performers super dope, man. Let's continue. I like this hook a lot. It's got me feeling like I'm nothing. It started out great in the honeymoon phase up until one day started coming home late drunk off his ass looking for a dinner plate oh and if he didn't get it he would hit her in the face punched to the gut with a child inside and he would switch from a loving to a violent guy he was never a stranger to crossing the line he would call a useless looking dead in the rush whoa whoa wow just starting off man loving that that delivery um seems like a storytelling song in a sense but um Wow, this is a touchy, touchy topic right here. I'm not even gonna hold you, man. This is um just from going from the honeymoon stage to you know him drinking to you know um wow. Let's, let's just continue, man. I, I want to make sure I get more information. Loving to a violent guy. He was never a stranger to crossing the line. He would call her useless, looking dead in her eyes. She was always terrified, way too much to come for help. Bitch, you think this coffee cup is gonna clean itself? Fuck a useless bitch. I'm going out with the guys, and you better not crowd or be worse than the last time. He would overpower and insult her on the way down. She would just lay down on the floor, face down. He told her to stay down. Don't know what to say now. She would just count to prevent another breakdown. One, this mm -hmm. is how it feels to lose power. Two, losing motivation by the hour. Three, this is how it feels out in public with a mask on, but you're crying. In the shower, four uh -huh. ever since I passed by in a second, five better start counting all your blessings. Six, cause when he swings open that door, the only thing clear to him is that you haven't learned your lesson. She get off of work and go straight to the cleaning, whatever she could do to prevent another beating. He would get home to a white. And it's so crazy how that can happen, man. It's just like you think you're dating this good person because they showed you, you know, this this perfect act of them, you know. But years later, when y'all finally are married and, and you settled in, things switch up, things change. You start to see that person true colors, man. And, and, and it's crazy that that things like that go down because it's just like you get into it thinking this person is such a good person and they would never do this to me or they would never, you know, go to that link. And, you know, once they 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 have you. And you let your guard down. It's just like now it's just like you're in complete shock that any of this is happening right now, you know. And then it's just like, you know, you may want to leave, but you can't leave because, you know, you're afraid. This is a deep one, man. This is a deep one. Wow, man. 
Then it said the following is based on a true story. Wow. And she get off of work and go straight to the cleaning. Whatever she could do to prevent another beating. He would get home to a white glove test and call it useless till she started to believe it. Grab her by the hair, slam her back against the wall. Shivering, the only way to fight back is to fall. Kick her in the ribs, then he'd hop back in the car with her laying on the floor like a tattered up rag doll. Hospitalized cause she couldn't stop bleeding. A uterine pain, it was stabbing and seething. Heaven got an angel in the form of a fetus. She walked the path alone, she was silently screaming. She had about enough, so what else she gonna lose? He was getting home around the corner after two. She grabbed the kitchen knife. Life inside in the living room, just flowing through her head. Everything she about to do, like one. It's mm, she grabbed the knife. Okay, the story's changing around. Maybe she gaining that confidence. Maybe she ready to defend herself. You know, um, maybe she, she. Listen, when you you can only you know hurt somebody for so long until they they're gonna stand up for themselves. You know, you can only just keep constantly picking on somebody before you know they they turn the table on you, man. But Wow, this is deep, man. After two, she grabbed the kitchen knife and sat in the living room, just flowing through her head. Everything she about to do, like one, it's okay to count when you're nervous. Two, is what I'm about to do worth it? Three, I'm about to vomit in the sink because this whole kind of thing, man, it isn't fucking working. Four, how long have I been sitting on the couch? Five, how long's it gonna be out the house? Six, I can barely take it anymore. I got my eyes on the door and I'm ready to pounce like, ah. Oh. Next day she awoke to find he never made it home. Apparently he died of a heroin overdose. Ironically, she was saved by the Grim Reaper, an opportunity to take back her life purpose. She could Wow, now that was a twist right there. That was a twist. Karma. Karma, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Now she can move on from that situation and, you know, hopefully get back to herself. Uh, I, 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 I couldn't imagine being in that position because I, I would. But, oh, snap, my bad. I'm still here. My bad, my bad. But, wow, man. That, that's karma, boy. That was a twist. Couldn't do a thing but let a sigh of relief. Was saved that. by the Grim Reaper, an opportunity to take back her life purpose. She couldn't do a thing but let a sigh of relief. She couldn't believe she was finally free. Karma got to him, now he's burning in hell. She said, I hope they give him the nightmare he gave me. Mm. Woo! Just like looking in the mirror and you hear her saying I love you to herself, you know, then you know she's she's building that confidence back up, you know. I love to see it. Uh, I will never be nothing. Wow, man. Wow. This is a deep one, man. Really good storytelling song right here, man. You did your theme man um would love to see more of this from you man um definitely looking forward to checking out more of your music y'all make sure y'all go check them out right now original song link will be in the description i'm gonna make it easy for you just click the video on my face like you used to try and do that and we out salute crown family have a beautiful blessed day until next time Cheers.